Hey guys, I'm Tigger the Tiger. Today I'm going to show you how to represent and solve multi-step problems. Let's jump right in. Leo spent $72 at Wonker's Amusement Park. He spent $26 on the admission ticket. He spent $18 on a park t-shirt and he spent the rest of the money on food. We need to pick out which equation can be used to find F, the amount of money and dollars that Leo spent on food. Let's draw a strip diagram to help understand the problem. Leo spent $72 total. Out of this, he spent $26 on the admission ticket. He spent $18 on a t-shirt and the rest on food. That means that these three have to add up to equal the 72. Okay, so 72 equals 26 plus 18 plus F. Let's try another one. The Rockne 4-H Club earned $840 during their petting zoo fundraiser last weekend. This included $360 earned from the concession stand and the money earned from the admission tickets that were $3 each. Jasmine used this equation to find in the number of admission tickets that were sold at, to the petting zoo. How many admission tickets were sold? All we have to do is simplify this expression. We need to do what's in parentheses first. When I subtract, I get $480. So I have 480 divided by 3. When you do this division, you get 160. So that is my answer. The 4-H club sold 160 admission tickets. Let's try another one. Sam needs PVC pipe to install a water line. The total length of the water line is 1,800 feet. The PVC pipe is sold in six foot sections and each section costs $8. Which equation can be used to find P, the cost of the PVC pipe that Sam needs? Well, let's visualize this problem. I have 1,800 feet that I need and I'm cutting them up into six foot sections. In other words, I'm actually piecing together six foot sections. Each of these six foot sections costs $8. So if I know how many sections there are, I could multiply by eight and that would give me my cost. Well, how do I figure out how many sections there are? Well, the cutting up into equal size pieces is a division action. So I need to divide by the six the 1800 divided by 6 will give me my number of sections and then I multiply by the 8. So I see this one does not even have divide by 6 in it. This one does not have multiply by 8. Let's look at these two. The only difference is the parentheses. Well, I first have to divide by 6 to get the number of sections. So this is my correct answer. 1,800 divided by 6 in parentheses, you'll get that answer, and then I multiply by 8 to get the cost. All right, let's try one more. Mrs. Romero packed 24 sugar cookies and 42 chocolate chip cookies in a small box for each of the eight classes to take on their field trip. Write an equation that Mrs. Romero could use to find C, the number of cookies that she packed into all of the boxes, then solve the equation. Well, let's picture what's happening. Here's one box, and she put 24 sugar cookies and 42 chocolate chip cookies, so we would add and we would get the total that are in that box. And she did this for eight classes. So I would first need to add these numbers to get the total in one box and then multiply by the eight boxes. So let's write that. 24 plus 42 times eight. Now, if I do not put parentheses here, then it would not do it in the correct order because we need to add first. So when I add 42 and 24, I get 66, and then I'm going to multiply that by 8, and that will give me my total number of cookies. So Mrs. Romero packed 528 total cookies. Okay, now it's your turn to answer some questions. 